If you guys haven't watched it, make sure you go check this out. Lies That Parents Tell featuring Bugatti Beast um, on my main channel right now. Well, today's Monday, so I post it. I'm going to post it in a couple hours, but uh, this is Tuesday if you're watching it. right now, I uploaded it. So, yeah, go watch it on my main channel and uh, like it, share it, subscribe, all that stuff. This shit looked like... Uh, American Horror Story. Speaking of American Horror Story, I just watched season four because they put it on Netflix. Uh, disappointing. It was probably one of the, well, I'm gonna say the worst season, but it wasn't my favorite season out of the whole thing. So now I'm caught up, so now I'm gonna watch uh, the new one, season five, Hotel. Might watch it on TV or I might just wait. I don't know, I don't watch TV anymore, but yeah, let me know if you guys are into American Horror Story. Let me know how you thought about the freak show. That's what it was. I didn't like it. I'm not going to lie, I didn't like it, but it's all good. All right, y'all, so I've never had a margarita before, but here at El Torito, they have this $3 margarita all day for Columbus Day to celebrate that. So I'm going to get a, I got a mango margarita. I'm curious to see how it tastes. I never had a margarita before. It sounds kind of crazy and also looks like a girly drink, and I'm pretty sure it is. It might be, I don't know, but I'm going to get a margarita because, hey, I'm a grown man. <laughs> Que pasa, wey? All right, I have to have my first ever margarita on camera, obviously. The first taste ever. You guys ready? It's mango. It's good. I can taste the mango. I can taste a little bit of liquor. I don't know what exactly it is, though. What kind of liquor is in a margarita? I don't know. But tequila? So tequila. Uh, yeah, you already know I'm about to feel Mexican. I'm about to start doing uh, bachata and stuff like that. Da, 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 da. All right, y'all, so I already ate, but I didn't even put a dent in this. So I'm about to, I'm about to chug it. I might regret it, but look, you can't even see it, but the tequila is all at the bottom. Yeah. Jimmy Neutron. Honestly, if I didn't get a brain freeze, I would have killed that, but I'm at to finish it. I know a lot of you guys are like, wait, you gotta drive home still, trust me, I'm 6'8", 200 and a lot of pounds, okay, and that's not gonna do nothing to me. I might feel a little relaxed, like I might be driving home like, I feel cool, but I'm not gonna be like, no, I can handle mine. A poor local got to me. Okay, so what I got? Huh? I got an napkin. There you go. Give me some. So I'm full, but I'm not tipsy, but it did make me a little tired, like a little drowsy, but I figured it would, but like it's cloudy. It look, I don't know if you guys can see, but it looks like it's about to rain and stuff, and it's just, I don't know, but um, what I'm going to do right now is answer some questions, cut me some slack because I'm so full, and I'm tired, and I don't feel like talking properly, so yeah, uh, let's see here. Um... Tamara Smith says, do you wear contacts? I do not wear contacts. I know on my last vlog, my eyes, they look kind of like a light. You really can't really see in this lighting, but they're they're like a light brown. They're not they're not dark brown, they're like a light brown. Um, sometimes they change from that to hazel, but my dad actually has hazel eyes and they turn green. And sometimes they even get yellow. And my mom just has regular brown eyes, but yeah. Um, other than that, man, no, I don't wear any contacts. I want to, but I'm afraid to put them in. I just wear glasses. I wear these glasses right here. In which you can kind of tell their glasses because look at my eyes. Look, look at that. Look, yeah. So my vision's not the best, but I wear these Versace glasses that I had a couple years or that I got a couple years ago. My mom got them for me for my birthday, and um, yeah, expensive ass glasses that are basically broken. The Kid Cage says, I really can't wait to see the video when he quits Best Buy. LMAO. Well, look, I can't wait to quit that place. Um, what's funny is that I didn't get scheduled at all last week. And this week, 
I don't even see myself on the schedule. There's still another day for them to actually post the schedule. But, I mean, if I had to get guess, I, I might work one day or maybe two. Unless they just fired me without telling me. But then again, I don't think companies can fire people without telling them. I think they have to actually tell you. So, I don't know. But I'm going to quit you know so it doesn't really matter i got other things lined up other jobs lined up um that's amazing so far so good it's incredible and i'm so thankful that i'm able to find it well i'm not gonna say i'm so thankful i'm able to find it but i'm so thankful i'm able to be able to do it um and everything like that so i'll tell you more about it when the time is right once i quit my job then i'll make a vlog titled my new job and then in that vlog i will you know hold up a little kid on the scooter but my new uh my new job make a vlog about it and tell you guys about it it's also gonna be on my main channel i'm not gonna tell people on my main channel what my new job technically is but youtube is gonna be my main main job all right and then the other job is extreme side work but the money i mean i'm, I'm making anywhere from a guarantee and where i live at is a guarantee anywhere from $15 an hour at the least a guarantee and up to $42 an hour. It's the most I ever made hourly. So, you know, things are looking up for me, but I mean, the grind doesn't stop. I still have to work. I can't get, you know, complacent. I have to keep moving forward, which I'm doing my best. But yeah, Tamara Smith asked me another question. She asked, do you like doing rants more or doing skits? Honestly, the way I look at it is that my channel was basically created on rants. Uh, well, technically pranks. So it was created with the idea that I'm going to be a prank which I could have easily kept going down that road, but I didn't like where it was going. Um, so I started doing rants, you know, like my first month into YouTube, I was doing pranks every week and then I, I quit doing pranks and then I started doing rants like, right in the beginning of my YouTube career, basically. But um, rants were what created this channel is what made me keep going and all that stuff. And then skits kind of came into play and I was like, why not make some funny skits? To be completely honest with you, I like doing rants more than skits just because everything is so much more easier. I don't have to do a script. I don't have to send the script out. I don't have to try to get people. I don't have to try to worry about what shots going to look good here. I don't have to worry about going through the hard process of editing. When I do a rant, everything is already edited for me. All I have to do is click, drag, click, drag, click, drag, and then add effects and do transitions and do titles and do music, background music, all that stuff. It's a lot, lot, lot more easier. You always have to switch it up and do something a little bit differently because people get bored, people lose interest, and it's the same thing, man. It's just, uh, it's hard. It really, really is. And nobody, if you don't do YouTube and, and you're you're thinking about doing YouTube just bring new things to the table uh, but every, then again everything's been done basically so you know remix things make it your own um, or whatever you know I'm just saying just there's ways around it you just you know, I don't, you just gotta be a, you just gotta be an OG <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying but if you know YouTube less than two years then unless you just get a good video and it just blows up and goes viral then i just don't expect much because it, it really does like the, the best thing about youtube is that it takes time and uh as time goes on you like you be get like you, you become better and you get better and um it's all about time like looking back i used to make videos i'm like yo this video is tight man it's like my third video that i've ever made this stuff is tight how come i don't have a million subscribers and then i, I went through a couple years and i'm like these videos are terrible these things suck who wants to watch these but that's what's so cool about it you just progress and you look back and you're like damn it's kind of like those old pictures that you never want to see of yourself again but they come back you're like i was so ugly but then i thought i was really cute it's just saying things so it's just progression and that's just what it's all about i know i've been talking for like the last three to four minutes so i'm gonna shut my mouth because i know how i get and i hate what is this a dog uh, i hate getting like that i talk a lot and all that stuff and um yeah so I'm at the low key take a nap. It is 6.36, I'm full. But I'm not gonna lie, I got a sweet tooth for something. I never have sweet tooth. The sweet tooth of just... <sighs> Remind me to never talk when I'm full again because I just really don't care. I just talk just to talk and it's just like, whatever. See, I'm in here at Walmart. I'm buying some dis well, some disinfecting wipes. And yes, they're great value because your boy likes to, uh, get stuff for value <laughs> and then i got some cotton balls because i'm about to do this little hair growth treatment i know that sounds kind of crazy like wait what and i have some hair growth treatment because of my beard um the right side of my beard grows in way better than the left side of my beard and i'm trying to fix that because when i was on my acne my acne medication accutane um it kind of i had acne really bad over here on my left side of my face as you kind of see scars but um all that acne medication and uh topical treatments and all that stuff kind of just i feel like it just fried everything on the left side of my face and my hair doesn't really want to grow over there but it does on my right side 
um, when I had my beard that was more on my cheeks, you can kind of tell like this, this side always looks better than this side. So I'm gonna try to, um, I heard it works, I heard it works really good, but it dries your skin out. But I'm gonna put it on the cotton balls and just dab it on my cheeks every night or whenever, every time I wake up. And also if you guys see my skin starting to get a little crusty when I start taking this stuff starting tonight, um, just let me know and I'll put moisturizer on it. I'm gonna say moisturize. Um, I'm used to it. I was on Accutane, which is a serious, serious acne pill, a treatment. Um, you had to get blood work done for it and all that stuff. I was on that for six months and my skin was stupid dry. So I'm sure this can't be any worse. But I talk a lot. Bye. I lied. I'm gonna buy one of these uh, because I realized when I buy stuff in bulk, like, yeah, maybe smarter up front to get it, but like, it just sits. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know, like, I, this right here, 35 wipes will literally probably last me the longest. Also, I bought these because um, my steering wheel is dirty. Like, I'm always driving on stuff. My steering wheel has, like, dirt marks on it, and it's just dirty. And I'm going to clean up my uh, whole dash and all that stuff like I do in a car wash. Boo, motherfucker. But, yeah, I'm going to clean up the inside of my car. Um, and then also, I got a table in my room. I'm going to wipe that down. And really, for anything, I only need, like, a few wipes. But... The ones at the car wash, they don't really do a good job. Well, they do a good job, but they don't give me enough of them. So I'm going to buy my own and just take care of that. And uh, kill flu viruses. You don't want to get sick, right? Use pin pad to complete transaction.